So what we've got here, stress corrosion cracking. Once again, it's in the syllabus, I think in civil structures. Um, for stress corrosion cracking, it's a rare form of corrosion, but once again, incredibly quick and incredibly um, catastrophic when it happens. You need a material, you've got to have an environment that promotes stress corrosion, and of course you've got to have stress. A couple of the classic examples are when before they knew what caused it, caustic embrittlement of steel. If I get steel heated up to 80 degrees and above in caustic solution, which is what they use in boilers, you don't want acid because if you put steel in acid at 80 degrees, you don't have steel anymore. So it's got to be a caustic solution so the boiler survives. But what they found is, in the incredibly high pressures in a boiler, which operate about 300 degrees, all of a sudden the boilers will crack and explode, catastrophically fail, like letting a bomb off in the middle of a factory. And it's a, what they said, oh, the steel's turned brittle because of the caustic. It's caustic embrittlement. It's actually a form of stress corrosion cracking. The other one was season cracking. Um, the British um, were fighting a war in the 1860s in India, an insurrection. And, of course, the British get all their sailing boats. There we go, sailing boat with all the horses they needed because we're talking before cars and before vehicles. And they've got the cannons down the bottom of the ship. And it takes two months to sail to India. In that two months there was a lot of nitrogen produced by the horses that of course filtered down and went all over the cannons. It's called season cracking because in India, there's a monsoon and a wet season and a dry season. In the dry season, nothing happened. In the wet season, whenever they put a shell in the cannon or a bullet in a gun, there was a good chance the cannon was going to explode in the soldiers' faces. Season cracking. Because it happened in the wet season, we're looking at water. The environment was ammonia. The material was brass, and the stress was the pressure produced. Put one, two, three together, you get season cracking, stress corrosion cracking. What actually happens, it's a chemical reaction. You need stress, tensile stress usually. I'll put the word tensile in, because you're ripping something apart. When the grains grow, remember they push all the rubbish out to the grain boundaries. The grain stays pure and all the rubbish that doesn't want to live in the um, grain as it's freezing gets pushed out of the boundaries. So that little area just before the grains freeze has a slightly different composition to what's on the middle of the grain. Typical stress corrosion cracking, I'll put up an image in a second, but typical stress corrosion cracking looks like a Christmas tree or a lightning bolt. It's commonly referred to as a lightning bolt type fracture. So there's the surface, we're looking at in cross section, and the crack just follows, that's where the direction the force was in. The crack just follows the grain boundaries. So it's really jaggedy, looks like a lightning bolt. That is stress corrosion cracking. It is not what you see in the textbooks, a bent nail in water. Not. Because, for stress corrosion cracking, you need the material. In this case it's iron. We have tensile stress there, and compressive stress. Two forms of stress. But what we don't have in water is an environment. Steel only cracks under caustic stress corrosion cracking. What's actually happening here is when you bend a nail in water, true, it does preferentially corrode here 
in here a little bit, but not as much, typically corrodes on the outside of the bed. Why? Because you've put a lot of energy into that metal when you've pulled the atoms apart. And because there's a lot of stored energy in there, that promotes faster reaction. So that's essentially a form of galvanic corrosion. Where the stressed steel corrodes first in preference to the unstressed steel. Technically, a bent nail in water does not stress corrosion crack. Because water is not an environment that promotes stress corrosion cracking of steel. <coughs>